What's up guys, uh, it's me DJ Brennan, back at you. Today we're going to talk about um, my uh, DMX rig, uh, DMX lighting control rig, and uh, I'm going to show you the, uh, the box, the racks that I built for it with two universes. Alright guys, here we have the um, six space rack mount SKB rack um, rolling uh, case. I already took the uh, covers off of it, but um, yeah, this is it right here. Um, what you're looking at is um, the power source with one one U one space rack mount um, battery backup that powers the DMX splitters on the fourth and fifth space. I uh, got a Chave and an Elation splitter. Uh, both just as good. I like the Elation one better because it has more outputs. Um, has one one set of outputs more. But as far as quality, uh, they're both pretty good. And we have the second and third space, we have the Chave Shore Express Universes. Um, this is an old unit that um, uh, Chave first came out with when he released Shore Express. So, uh, tilt it right here there we go and uh, um, you can do a standalone uh, 14 shows if you wanted to I mainly bought it because uh, it was rack mounted and I like how neat it um, it was um, suppose I heard there's a rumor going around they're coming out with another one that I work with uh, Mac uh, this is a PC based software originally so um, this is um uh, the older unit. So anyway, moving on, uh, we have uh, currently some wireless DMXs down here at the bottom. Uh, turn the light on the camera for you guys. There we go. There we go. And it's an old DeFi wireless uh, DMX transmitter and a, a American DJ. Uh, which is the newer ones I recently purchased, uh, Y Flex, which I like a little bit better because you can actually add as many as you want from the uh, transmitter. So we got this all hooked up too as well. Uh, we'll use these um, to run um, lighting on trees or like um, T bars, but we call them trees, light trees, um, T bars, and um, on the back side of the room, skip over doorways. Cool things like that, so we don't have to run um, cords. Uh, most of everything I do is all hardwired um, with uh, uh, cabling, DMX cable. And I actually uh, rigged this all myself, uh, made it all nice and neat, and when I put the cover over it, um, it doesn't touch any of the cables. So uh, that's how we do this. Um, yeah, that's, I'll show you a little close up shot there. It's been working out for a while like this. So I'm going to show you the back side of it. Here's the back side. And uh, what you're looking at here, we got um, Universe 2. So I actually label it with the label maker. Universe 2 has uh, five, a total of five outputs. Um, so we can go to the left to right behind us, wherever we want to uh, run the up lighting, mainly for the up lighting. Um, Universe 1, these are all DMX out too, just like the other one, this, this was already uh, labeled up from a long time ago, just to have them got the Universe 2 all labeled up yet, but this is Universe 1, right there, U1, and uh, it's got the four outputs, so totem 1, totem 2, totem 3, totem, totem 4, if I want to run four totems, or I can link the totems together from left to right, and then facade and truss above me, wherever I want to run that to, or I can just run a simple wireless. Um, here's the power cord here to power this rig up. Uh, you have Universe 1 USB cable, and Universe 2 USB cable. Works really well that way. Um, I've been running it like this for a while. And if we go on the inside here, I actually 
zip tie everything and make it look nice and neat. Uh, so that way, um, nothing won't get unplugged or anything like that. So it's uh, working out really well. Even had to tape this right here to keep the the uh, power cord from coming out. And I zip tied that down there to keep it uh, from dangling. And this is a Raxus um, 1U um, shelf, or Raxus uh, rack mount shelf. Uh, right here, I'm pointing. And these are the uh, two DMX splitters right here. One right here, one right here. Above that, yeah. These are the universes. And there's your battery backup. And slide it on that. Now, what you guys are looking at here is dual monitors here. We're actually in the process of building a, uh, a uh, computer, a small compact uh, computer, about the half size of this laptop. And the reason why we're going to run dual monitors to run lighting is that we're going to have one for the laser show, for all the X lasers that we're going to be using. Um, and we're going to be running Show Express on the left side, or vice versa. So we'll be running dual screens for you know, the light shows that we're going to be running. So um, it makes it a lot easier when operating it and stuff like that. I'm going to have um, one of my guys here is going to be operating lights while I'm DJing. And then um, we're all MC and stuff as well, hype the kids up at these school dances. So uh, that's what we're going to do uh, with this setup. Um, so I'll keep y'all posted on future videos. And stuff like that. The reason I like these monitors is um, because they do swivel. Or you can lay them completely back, you know, uh, so you can mount them on a wall, whatever. Um, I've seen these kind of monitors at hospitals. Uh, so I was like, hmm, what's the model over that? So I found them and picked them up for cheap uh, through an office building locally. And that's about it. We're going to have these all in, in a nice case as well. We're going to have to build some customized casing for all this. So we'll have somebody run the, uh, the lights and stuff. And the software program, again, we're using is the Shabby Shore Express. The laser program we haven't purchased yet, but it's a it's an ILDA software uh, for the X lasers. Um, and... Be looking at too. I heard there's different ones out there, so we're gonna look at all the options. Again, my name is uh, DJ Brandon. I do appreciate y'all watching this video, and uh, I will be doing more details on this uh, lighting rig here soon. I'm gonna be. I got some more videos I gotta do for audio stuff too coming up. But um, I do appreciate y'all watching, and y'all practice and enjoy. And God bless y'all. Peace.